Oh my God. Just when you think golf has defeated you, you defeat golf. Look at that. Please zoom in, Tom. So here we are. First episode of Break 80, not the bank. This is harder than pretty much the start of the courses that I've been playing in them pro comps. Right, first tee, six iron. It's not a big shot. It's like a literally a six iron to the corner and then I probably would try driver if it was like the ninth hole, but fairways are the key today. After my nine hole expedition the other day, I will pick my tee up, get in my buggy, have a nice walk down there. What a golf shot. 94 yards, but it looks like the green kind of slopes away from us. So we're going to try. I'm just going to hit my, um, a little like 75, 80 yard shot. It all runs down as well. So a little 80 yarder. Back to the chipping lesson. Just bounce all the way down. Oh, I didn't even hit that well. But how much better is my short game? How much better is all my game? I feel like today, honestly, I feel like everything's clicking. I feel like the short game's clicking. The irons are absolutely dialed in. My driver's good. My putting's all right. Like we're on one. Honestly, we're going. We're going low today. Oh, pace was good. I thought it was in. I actually thought it was in all the way. Hard green that. A bit tricky. That's a massive break. That. I put that miles left. Solid, easy par. So that's one of them holes where course management wise you could say, you know what, don't need driver, you know what, I'm gonna play it like a par five. Or you've got to have a very good shot. But I'm gonna try a little fade off that bunker, soft one, I'm not gonna hit it very hard, and just try and get it to go around that corner. So I'm gonna point the club at the bunker, my feet at these kind of trees just past that yellow marker. So start the ball on this little feather in front of me and just swing left. It didn't fade, we've got to take it. I tried to fade, didn't fade. It's probably, it's gone in the trees next to the bunker. That's one of them where I try to play the good shot. Now I'm going to have to just play for the bogey, which isn't a bad thing. It's the hardest hole in the course. I was really indecisive there. It was a really, really hard tee shot that. But just over that bunker, let him know the bunker just I don't want to go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go anywhere near the bunker. Right. So I just drop down. So now I tried the fade. Tried the big boy shot. And now I'm just going to get it out. Yeah. Oh no! 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 Fuck, man. What a start to a horrible day. Today, after this hole now, course management is going to be key. That's all we're thinking about today. Because I've just literally, I should have thought, you know what? Hardest hole in the course, tricky tee shot. Why don't I just hit a six iron? I'll go for it in two. I might get it, I might not. Play it, get a bogey, move on next hole. Damage, limitation. Got to get rid of double bogeys. And what have I done? Put myself in a position now where I'm going to make a double. Into wind. In the water. Can probably go a bit bigger because of the pond. Oh my god. Just when you think golf has defeated you, you defeat golf. Look at that. Please zoom in, Tom. Ah, oh, now we're gonna make bogey. <laughs> the very, very hard way. Right, by the way. First impressions, by the way, this was this is obviously the first of break 80, not the bank, which is, like I said in the intro, where we're going to go around courses, and I want to be playing courses that you can look at and go, you know what, it's all right that. But I'm thinking, I've paid £25, £25 for a buggy, 50 quid, right? And I'm doing this insane video for Willow Valley. I might send them an invoice, it's like free marketing for them. By the way, if you do work at a pro shop of a golf course that's under £50, visitor's fee, and you'd like me to come play it, let me know. Me and Tom will make a sick video. So, first impressions, by the way, of this place, there's lots of water, and I think water just adds to the character. So I do love a course with lots of water. Oh! 
that hole did not want me to get a bogey there. Jesus. But we're in. And we are just one over still. That's all right. That's the hardest hole in the course. Got a bogey. That's tricky though. It hits you with the hardest hole in the course on the second hole. Bit naughty, yeah? Right, so I'm going to set up on the right, left-hand side of the tee box here. And I'm just going to try and hit sensible here. It's par five, it's not reachable. It's like a strategic hole. So I'm just going to play a six iron. Hit that so bad, but it's what I wanted. Let's get off the tee, into the fairway. We're going to lay up par five. Let's go. So here we are, first episode of break 80, not the bank. And we're at this place. To be fair, I am loving all this water, Thomas. nice but it might be sneaking left sit sit it hit something and it dropped out of something i'm not sure what it's done i might just hit another one because actually not be water won't it if it's dropped anything so it'll be a water drop punch at the six iron or something right so here we are under some mad trees in the jungle We're proper in the jungle here it's a hard hole to be fair really 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 tricky hole this i'm just gonna hit towards that bank just got a six iron It should give me a good line in that way to the green. Again, I would take par and I'll take bogey on this hole because it's not easy at all. Got my 50, it's 125 ish. Nice smooth swing on it. Just didn't draw that. Sit on, don't go on the bank. Don't go down the bank. Not the best strike, not the best strike. Let's get up and down for par. It's that little green side chip. I haven't done this for a while because I've actually been hitting greens. Oh! I needed that to actually hit the flag there. I hit it too hard. I had it. I didn't hit it properly. I don't know if I, this interlock in my grip is a bit confusing. That's what happened. See, that's what happens with my old putts though. They start, bye bye. That is, at least the distance is good. Really didn't want to double that early in the rounds. But again, it was defeated me that hope, to be honest with you. That's the next thing I need to learn on. So next time I see Chris, get out on the course and just learn confidently how to play little fades and stuff like that. Because that second shot, because I've gone so anti slice, now, now I'm playing a draw, I need to be able to now straighten that shot up or play a fade. Because now, I needed a fade on the last hole, I made bogey, and I needed a fade on that second shot and the first shot. Didn't have it in the locker. Bogey, double bogey. So next lesson, obviously you'll be there with me, we need to start learning shot shapes on the course and how to play the golf course. Right, come on. 190. 190 par three. It's probably a six iron, but I think I'm into, it's, I'm into wind. Ah, that's gone right. Ah, let go of it. Here we are again. But this time, we're going to nail it. Oh yeah, all right. Bunker, done. Well, first impressions, we're being hit with a, <laughs> a very tricky par four, a very tricky par five, and a 200 yard par three. So this is harder than pretty much the start of the courses that I've been playing in them pro comps. Ah, oh, that needs to sit. That was a bit stabby, that. It's another bogey. Four over. But I said, I'm hoping all the hard holes come through. Have you played this course, by the way? Anyone played this? It's in Brighouse. A bit south of Leeds. Willow Valley. Championship course. I think there's a few holes here. So far, I mean, things you can probably, I mean, daft things you can probably fault, maybe little bits of bunkers and stuff like that. But look, I mean, sound for 25 quid. That is absolutely nutted. I don't actually know what it's going to be. That couldn't be on the green. But you have hit that on the second hole and on the third hole. 
I'm just laughing. I thought we cleared that water on the third pour five. Right, I'm gonna try it. I could punch it out and make bogey, but I'm four over, so I'm gonna try something a bit stupid. Oh, but to be fair, it's gone exactly where I was gonna chip out too, so six and two threes. 50 yards, nice yardage for me. New man. Really tricky for me to read that. Straight in though. Straight in. Yes. Good job I moved that there. That is a very good paw. Up and down 50 yards. That's what I've been needing to save them paws rather than bogeys. Right. Another tricky hole, but loving it. It's 157 downwind. So I'll go 150 yards, shot be a 9 9 wind carries it a few yards tiny little breeze right I'm not getting caught out by pin positions here I'm just gonna play this literally to the middle of the green it's big that isn't it ah wind literally picked up as I hit the ball massive What a lovely touch. Someone call me Gaz Mickelson. God, I feel like I'm playing a PGA course here. I'm like, it's really nearly defeating me, this. It's not an easy course. And I know there's like a 6,000 par five coming up. Yep, good par that and a par three like that. Oh, yes. I'm going to have a look. One second, because I haven't got a clue where I'm going. So if you want to, if you want to go for it, you've kind of got to, you have to, you have to go long. And I don't know what yardage we've got in. Let's have a look. One eight five to the middle. Into window, right. Just got a par. Just got another par. Why don't I just play? Where's the water? The water. It's 150 yards out. I can do a 50 yard chip again. Give myself a birdie putt. Worst case scenario, it's par. So let's hit nine iron smooth and safe to the right it's going to be like see them trees that are sticking out the, in the top oh, yeah. that's like, like the pins like in see that middle one that's sticking out yeah. pins there so i'm going to aim over here and have a little 50 yard chip in that'll be like perfect layup driver nine nine and hopefully course management we can get close with the chip it's 37 yards if i can land it 30, just to the right of it a little bit. That was unlucky, but I was just scared of the water. <laughs> no, get a paw, get out of here. <laughs> I bottled that so much. Again, stressful par, but good course management. There were so many times there I could have went for that. Caught it a little bit fat because I was trying to absolutely kill it. Oh, by the on there, oh, up there, I can see it near the green. It's going to be a very good up and down needed. It just, just needed a little bit more. Didn't hit it, but hit it, it was in. <sighs> Not bad, honestly, it's a hard course. It's a very hard course. Like you, you got to take a bogey on a 200 yard par five that you're hitting a five iron into. Chip could have saved us, but it just took a little bounce left. I probably was in the wrong place, but we live and learn, live and learn. Right, nine four, it's probably another 600 yard par four. Is it that windy, can I just blast driver over there? Nah, let's see a four iron. I think a four iron will just get a bit, get killed down there a little bit. Just absolutely ripped four iron into the wind. It's gone in the, it's gone in the fairway bunker. <laughs> oh, I could cry. But hey, at least it was only 25 quid. 
well out. I suppose the only thing I can fault so far today, really, is the bunkers. A bit hard stones in them, but like I said, they've got a lot, a lot of golf courses and a lot of holes to maintain. But so far, favourite feature is just the water. It's a green. It's a green. Yeah, not bad. It's a bogey, but out of that fairway bunker, you've got to take them. The rest of the hole has actually played all right. To be fair, so far I'm impressed. Break 80, not the bank, episode one. 25 quid green fee. I rang up, I booked it, um, came down, sunny day. Yeah, I mean, can't really pick it apart with 25 quid. It's the, the holes have been challenging. It's really hard golf course, to be honest with you. Willow Valley, championship course, back nine. I'm coming for you tomorrow night, 7pm. I'll see you soon.